Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flattened Feathers again, and um, today I'm tying a flash the old Foxy Clouser. This is a kind of take on Dan Blanton's version of the Clouser Minnow. Really effective pattern in fresh and salt water. But I'm tying these uh, with small mouth in mind, but I'll also probably throw them at some uh, Japanese sea bass as well <clears throat> but I mean you can tie them if you live in Europe they're an excellent fly for big perch um, large mouth, small mouth other fish as well I'm sure stripers would eat them um, so I've got in the vice I've got a one knot uh, must add 60 degree jig hook And I'm just running on some 210 flat wax nylon. Now, even though this is on a jig hook, you still want to tie your eyes in back from the bend, right? It's not a. Uh, if you think where you would tie your eyes on a a clouser on a straight hook, you st back from the eye, the kink in the shank is where you should sort of roughly measure from to get that same sort of proportion. So you've got plenty of room to tie in in front. Get your eyes tied in nice and tight. Make sure they're sitting nice and straight. Put a wee bit of super glue just to lock everything in place and then I'll get some flash for the tail this is a Sibai flash, it's a new sparkle here is what it's called it's really nice this is silver pearl, it's a blend of pearl silver and silver holographic some of it's straight, some of it's slightly crinkled um, it looks really nice Look really, really really nice in the water. And I just folded that over my thread and like a full length, folded it over and tied it down and that's it locked in place and that's this is gonna give me a lot like, of finger length fly like a three four inch fly which is just nice for the fish I'm targeting with it. Of course you can tie them bigger, six sorts if you're wanting to use them in heavy, heavy eyes for dredging offshore or near shore fishing reefs and stuff. I know a lot of guys in Australia use them for that. So to add a wee bit of bulk to the body I'm just gonna put on some dub and this is E P shrimp dub but any sort of reasonably long fibres um synthetic will do. And don't be shy with this. Get plenty on. leave yourself just a wee space to tie in the back half of the of the belly then brush the dubbing well brush it out well this will sort of add to the taper Helps to stop the, the soft wind collapsing on the strip. I'm going to take some I've got some really nice fleece here, um, nice and straight. No use for like, scalping heads or anything. 
but it's very nice for stuff like this, it, it moves well. It moves well, it's nice and soft and it's pretty tough as well, it's much tougher than Bucktail. That's fine, just measure the length of this. Do you want it coming to about halfway, halfway down the flash tail, which will support the flash tail and stop it, um, stop it fouling and also sort of gives you that wee illusion of the, 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 f the fly tape on the way to nothing, the fish, wee fish tape on the way to nothing. So I've tied it in front of the dumbbells, I'll just jump my thread back, two or three locking turns behind and I'll come back to the front. If you want to add a throat, now is the time to do it. I'm not going to bother on this fly, but you could just put a wee bit of red flash or something in here, if you like. And before all that's locked up, I'll just uh, sort of spread that. And you can see the dubbing sort of makes it stick out a wee bit and helps to uh, support the profile. Then the last thing is just some chartreuse fox fur for the overwing. You can use whatever you like. Um, obviously, tie them up in the range of colours because uh, they do work very well. If you're fishing dirty water, maybe something with a bit of orange in it. Black. Black's very effective. For a range of species. So, I've prepared my fox fur, just run it through the velcro, take any rubbish and sort of open it up, it makes it much nicer, it moves much better. And then, sort of similar length to your the fleece. I don't mind if it's slightly shorter. Not much. A few turns to get that secured. Come on, trim away your waist. Sweep anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Build a neat, nice tidy thread head. Now it can be a wee bit tricky with the, the jig hook because this is bare shank. Sometimes your thread will try to slip um, when you when you're finishing it and putting the whip finish on. So it does no harm to just get a bit of super glue on there. and wind over it. And you can just come in and whip finish. Sometimes it will fight you a bit, but just get a tap and that will stick everything. There you go. From away your waist. Then I like to just finish them with a bit of loom. Oops. A bit of loom resin. Just come in and hit it with a torch.
and that's it. Flash tail Foxy Minnow, sort of based on Dan Blanton's Flash tail Clouser. Effective fly for a range of species, fresh and salt water. Tie some up, get them in your box, catch some fish on them. Thanks very much for watching guys. Hope this was useful for you, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel for more HD Fly Pound videos. Bye.